When you're creating a blog post, one of the things you have is you have blog categories as a way to categorize exactly what you're writing about. If you want to get to it from your dashboard, you can go to uh, hover over posts. Right here you see your categories. So you can see these are the categories that I have on my blog at the moment. If I wanted to add another one, I could add one right here. I could call it test. So in this one right here, this is what people are going to see. The slug is what is what um, you know HTML, what the robots and our things are going to see. And what you want to do in this case is it's going to be it's going to be usually all lowercase, and they're going to be connected with a hyphen. So I would put test category like that, and add a new paragraph, or excuse me, add a new category. So you can see there's my new category right there. Now if I was writing a blog post and I wanted to put that in that category. So here you can see this is where I would be writing my blog post. If I want to grab some fake text. And here I could set it into test category as the actual category for that one. Then we could go to preview. And we could preview this. But in the meantime, you'll notice that, let's make sure we're not in the marketing, let me see, save the draft. You'll notice here that it, the way I have mine set up is it's going to put it in the category here, and then it's going to put the blog title. So if you're, if you're specific with your category types and you're using the keyword phrases that you want to rank for, let's say if you're in real estate, you could use um, condos for sale, houses for sale, townhomes for sale. You could use certain neighborhoods. So there's a lot of things you can do there because Google is going to see this name right here every single time and associate this blog post with this category. So it's a great way to do it. If you're already writing a blog post and you need to create a new category, you can do that right here. Add a new category. We'll call this one test, test category 2 could add that and then it'll add our category right there. So that's how you can set your categories or go inside of them. Oh, one last thing I can show you is how to um, is how to delete a category. So if you've got some categories and you need to delete them, you can go into your categories. You can go right here. So I can select these two for example. And I could delete those two categories out. And that's how you manage your categories.